Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, MG Nas, and I'm back again with another Eagles video. And today, we got some breaking news, but before I get into the video, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell. I'm sorry, I wasn't posting for like the last three or four days. I've been hanging out with family and stuff like that, but I'm back. I'm making a video. The background look a little different. I'm not home right now, but we still gonna make this video because we got breaking news today. We got some sad news, though. Uh, Eagles right guard, Brandon Brooks, who we just paid, but we just paid last season. Uh, he tore his Achilles. He tore his left Achilles. Uh, as an Eagles fan, this is not what you want to hear. This is, like, the worst possible news. So, right now, I don't know, man. I think, obviously, we got to go out and get somebody. Do we sign a free agent? Do we trade? But I want to I wanna tell y'all something. Before I heard this news, like, three or four days ago, it was a video on IG, and Brandon Brooks was working out. He was doing, like, the little... Like, you know how in UFC they do, like, a punch-kick combo? Like, some UFC moves, just, like, working out, working on his MMA or whatever. I'm like, okay, like, you're not an MMA fighter, but I guess, like, I don't really know. And I know, I heard, like, when you do boxing training, strength and conditioning is good for, like, football players. So I'm like, I didn't think nothing of it. But my question is, did that cause an injury? Did he do some kick and, like, fall or do some kick and didn't do it the correct way because it's an Achilles injury and you do use your foot to kick so is that a connection did he fall down the stairs slip in the shower like what did he do I don't know what caused this I want to I need to find out what caused this but next I want to know what this is what does this mean for our team now we got to go out and sign or trade for somebody who is out there to trade for and sign I don't know I gotta look into that I just heard the news, so I just had to make this video. But I'm going to go, like, tomorrow or a couple of days, in the next few days. I might make a video and see, like, who we have available, who's on, the, like, who could we possibly trade for, what situations could we trade them for, you know. Is it is rumors we've been, like, trading, like, like Russell Douglas or Sidney Jones could get traded away. So, man, like... This is this is unexpected. I didn't expect this to happen, especially during the off season. Um, Brandon Brooks, he really has not been injured. I know he had this little anxiety attack last year. And he didn't play, and he I think he did have one injury before. But as far as that, he's not like a injury prone guy. So this, I didn't expect this injury to come. I didn't expect none of this, and. We already had, like, kind of a left guard hole a little bit. And then, another thing is, too, we lost Halibu Devati Vaitai, who usually comes in when one of our offensive linemen get injured. He plays basically every position on the O-line but center. He came in and played any position, you know, no matter what he had to play. Now that we lost him to the Detroit Lions, now we lost that guy who can play, who can come in for the four out of five offensive line positions. Now, we're kind of stuck. Now we got to go out there and do something. It's not like we can say, hey, Big V, come in, play this position. No. Nah. Now, is do we sign Jason Peters back and move him or Andre Dillard to a different position? And it could get uncomfortable, but now who knows? Now we have a lot of questions. And I think Howie Roseman, I think our, our staff, we're, I think we're kind of used to these big injuries now. I think... I think I'm, I put my trust and my belief in our staff that they're going to make the right decision, the next man up mentality, that they're going to find the best player to help us win a football game. I put my trust in our front office, like I said, because we we we, we know we faced these big injuries before. Um, our whole receiving core got injured last year. Carson Wentz, we know about his injury history. So I put my trust in our staff to make the right moves and the right decision for our team to win so make sure you like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think about this injury down below in the comments and i'm out peace